guys, this is Audrey of Wild Horse Studios, and today I'm going to show you guys uh, just a tutorial of how to do a shaded dapple black. Um, today I'm doing that on um, this traditional scale scamp resin that I just finished painting for National Model Painting Month. Uh, so this horse is based on... Um, the St. Mary of the Woods College live mascot, Little Onyx. Um, and uh, St. Mary of the Woods is the college that I went to and graduated from. Um, and Little Onyx, they just added um, to, uh, as a part of their college within the last probably year or so. Um, so I haven't actually met her, but I'm super excited about her. I think she's really cute. I need to drive over there so I can go see her. Um, so I just had to make a cute little model of her. Uh, and I had this scamp resin laying around and I just felt like it fit her really well. So the first color that I'm using is a raw sienna. It's this kind of um, orangey color and I'm just using that as a base coat. Um, so I'm just making a nice even uh, layer of that color for so I um, went back and I put a little bit more on so he's a little bit of a brighter orange instead of a pale orange color and I went um, in and I did all of the dappling first before I did any shading um, and I did kind of did a video of dappling already um, but basically it's you have to have a lot of control to be able to do dappling with an airbrush so you have to be able to get really close, let out just a little bit of air, and let out just a little bit of paint. And it takes a lot of practice. Um, so don't expect to be able to have perfect apples right away. You have to do it a lot to be able to get it um, going well. But the advantage of it being a dark color like this is that it's easy to hide if you make mistakes in these kinds of dapples. Um, so this might not be a bad color to start with if you're still learning dapples. So I go in and I do my dappling, and as usual, I kind of do more than I really think I need because some of it's going to get blended into the color um, later as I add more shading. Um, so you'll see I put on a lot more dapples than you actually see in the end. Um, and then after I get my dappling done, I go in and I start shading the whole body. He's going to be really dark, so I went in and I shaded a lot of him with the darker brown. Um, but I want to leave areas like uh, around his nose a little bit uh, lighter and uh, his flank and then behind his elbow. And the last airbrush layer is uh, just the black. So the first thing I did is I went in and painted or airbrushed um, the eyes and the nose. Um, just because those are really fine little areas to try to get. All black. Um, just plain black. Main's plain black. And then the body um, is not. The body has some shading in it. So again, left... Um, let some of that brown tone kind of come through a little bit which it looks like shows up pretty good uh from the camera um that it's still you know kind of brown that she's not black but it's still dark enough to be considered black I know this is kind of a short tutorial compared to some of the others, but this is a bit of a simpler color than some of the others I've done. And 
And then you can see her all finished as um, usual. Um, you guys are welcome to ask questions in the comments. I um, have some other things going on this year as far as like what's planning, what I'm planning as far as videos. Um, I'll be live showing again this year. Um, I'm, I've currently signed up for two shows this spring already. Um, so I'll have videos on those coming. Um, I'm hoping to do more tutorials. And then on top of that, this is the 10th anniversary of my studio. So I'm hoping to do at least one or two videos related to that as well. Um, just to see like how my customs have progressed over the 10 years and how my studio has changed and just um, how far everything has come since then. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it was at least uh, a little bit helpful um, and I will see you next time. Bye guys!